Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So I just wanted to make a super quick video. Uh, recently there's been a lot of new people joining the Pokemon Shiny Hunting community on Twitch, which is absolutely amazing. I, I love seeing all these new streamers uh, come up and uh, so many new people to interact with. It's really, really awesome. But I've had a few people ask me coming into my streams, hey, how do you make that counter work on stream so that I can just, you know, hit a keybind on my keyboard and it will automatically count my shiny encounters. So you can see the counter next to Sandy Guess going up there and then I just dropped it back down. There is a very easy way to do this so that you do not have to manually edit your text file every single time you get a, a Pokemon encounter. It's very, very easy. So what you need to do is you need to Google death counter and soundboard. So I'm going to bring that up here. You literally just want to Google Death Counter and Soundboard. Um, I'm also going to leave a link to this website in the description down below, so you can just click on that if you want. You're going to click on the very first option that comes up. Death Counter and Soundboard here from Streamer Square, and it is going to take you to this website. All you then need to do is just click on All Versions and Change Log, and then you just need to grab the most recently released version, download it, install it to your PC. It does not take very long. It doesn't even need a PC reboot, if I'm remembering correctly. And then it will be installed. So then what you're going to want to do is you are going to want to open it up. And then you are going to get this, uh, this window here. So you'll get this window that will come up. And then to add a new counter, you just want to click on this button down here in the bottom left corner, Add Counter. It's going to prompt you with this window here, so you're just going to give it a name. Uh, I am just going to call it Video Counter for the sake of this video. Then what you need to do is you need to pass it a text file so that the death counter has some place to write to on your PC. So you're just going to click on the three little dots next to File, um, and you're going to just pass it any notepad document. So I've m made one already for the purpose of this video that I have called um, video counter txt. It just needs to be a notepad document. Um, so you're going to pass it that. And then what you can do is you can edit the starting value right in the counter itself. You don't even need to bother editing the, the text file. So if it's a new hunt, you want to start it off at zero. But if you've been keeping track of a hunt like off to the side before using this and say you're up to, you know, like 800 encounters, you can start it here at 800. Then what you can also do is you can change the increment value as well. So for most encounters, for most hunts, you're going to want to increment it by one. But if you're doing like dual hunting and you've got two systems going and you're going for the exact same target, you can change this to two so that every time you hit your keybind to increment, it will increment it by two instead of one. Um, so you can just literally change it to whatever you want. But in most cases, it's probably going to be one. And then if you really want to get fancy, you can um, edit in here. Um, the format. I haven't actually played around with this too much, so I, I don't uh, I don't know too much about this. So it looks like if you want to just make it so that the value in here is your count, and then if you want to make it say like count whatever. Uh, in most cases, people just have the number. Um, so you can leave it like that, and there you go. So you close out of this, and now you've got your counter here. And whenever you hit your keybind, it will go up by whatever the increment value you set. And when you hit the correct keybind, it will also go down. Now, how to set up those keybinds is very, very simple. All you want to do is just click on settings. Uh, it's going to just take a second, and then it will bring up a settings box. And the very, for the very first tab is your keyboard and your keybind settings. So all you need to do is just set a keybind to the increment and a decrement. So I have the number pad plus um, and the number pad uh, minus buttons on my keyboard. Just because like they're very very close to the mouse it's very easy and visually like plus to increment minus to decrement um and that's it now that is going to be universal for for all of your counters in here not just uh the one that you just made so if you have like 40 different counters in here you don't have to make settings for each counter specifically it's universal for every single one of your counters so that's it you've got your death counter and soundboard set up for your shiny count but now how to actually bring that onto your stream overlay. Very, very simple. So what you need to do is you need to make a text um, uh, source in OBS. So you're just gonna right click in your OBS window and add a text source. You're probably very familiar with this uh, text field. Uh, when you add it in OBS, you can you know make it say whatever you want. So we've got the counter there and it's gonna bring up, um, I have the text file right here 
what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to change the text to uh, black and I am just going to give it um, a, uh, a white outline just so it sticks out on my overlay here a little bit better. Um, just gonna drop it over here and actually just uh, shrink it down uh, a little bit. So there we go. So normally what you can do when you come in here, you can add whatever text you want, but there's also this little button here that says uh, read from file. So you're, one, you're gonna wanna click on that instead and then you're gonna need to pass it a file. So what you're going to do is you're going to pass it the same file that you passed your counter. And then it's automatically going to display whatever value is written in that text file. So then you're just gonna hit okay. So now you can see that I have my text, uh, my, my number, my text uh, source right above me, and I have my death counter and soundboard over here, and you can see that the counter shows 800 here. So when I increment that to 801, the text file above me automatically updates about like a second later. So I can just keep counting, and it's automatically going to update on your overlay for you. You don't have to do any tedious work of going into your your sources and manually editing the text file every single time. Very, very simple. And that is how you set up a counter for your shiny hunting. Now, as you can see, I've got a, a couple of different counters in here. So if I flip to my dual hunting layout, so when I hunt twice on two systems here, then you can see how I have the one counter over here, um, which increments on its own so when i get a sandy gast encounter i can increment that and then when i do a headbutt i just click the different counter in the death counter soundboard app and then this one starts incrementing so they will always increment on their own you just have to have the right counter selected based off of what um one you want to increment and that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you. Again, if you are new to the shiny hunting community and the Pokemon community as a whole on Twitch, welcome. It's an absolutely amazing community. There are so many great people in this community. It's awesome to have you join us. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like down below. Consider subscribing if you are new. Also, feel free to come join us in a live stream. We stream Monday through Thursdays in the evening. Uh, my Twitch link is in the description down below if you would like to come join us for a live stream. Again, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you all for watching. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.